Nothing in this world is more natural and more meaningful than portraying the little mermaid with a black actress. My name is Rune Jano, I'm a Danish scholar of religion, and since my academic work is based in uh, Nordic, but also in Afro-Atlantic religious culture, I just want to add this perspective as a bit of a response to this current explosion of hate speech against Walt Disney uh, because they chose to portray Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid as a young black woman. Apparently, it has somehow affronted people who, I don't know, perhaps grew up with merchandise of Ariel as Ginger. Um, but I just have to say that these reactions are completely out of touch with any understanding of what mermaid mythology is. And this racism is also quite a bit perplexing to me, actually. I'm Danish. This means that Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid, well, it's my cultural heritage. You know, for instance, the statue of the Little Mermaid has about the status for me that I guess the uh, Statue of Liberty would probably has to have too many Americans. Uh, this down here is a different statue, by the way. It's uh, this is just in front of the Parliament building, and there's a statue just down here of uh, a more original version of the uh, this uh, the, the myth of the marriage to a sea spirit. I also have three mixed kid, kids with a Franco-African woman. So this is just to all those people <clears throat> who go flip about the fact that a female figure from my cultural heritage is imaged with a person who looks like my daughter. <clears throat> As a Danish ginger scholar of this stuff, let me just make it absolutely clear that mermaid mythology is not a white thing. <clears throat> First of all, it's much older than the unhappy invention of being white, which is in fact historically a fairly late idea. I, for instance, I didn't grow up with a particularly strong understanding of myself as being white. I remember retros retrospectively discovering as an adult that a childhood friend of mine actually is not white. And second, uh, mermaid mythology is found in Northern Europe, but the idea of water spirits is probably close to universal, actually. And it's also very much and very much specifically an African cultural element. And not only is mermaid mythology totally an African phenomenon, it is in fact a field where European and African mythologies historically interact and interplay and mix. So in the Atlantic encounter, ideas and imagery of the mermaids and water spirits flowed between Africans and Europeans. And mermaid mythology is a field that's basically diverse to begin with. You see a number of these African sea goddesses that, uh, imaged as mermaids. This is the case, for instance, for Mami Wata, for Shun, Yeman Shah. These deities are imaged as mermaids. And this also works the other way around, by the way. So in a, a contemporary Atlantic world, which, for instance, Denmark is a part of here, you find the Little Mermaid actually taking up the role as these water deities, people giving flowers to a tune at the actual statue of the Little Mermaid, or you find reproductions of this little statue at the Santeria altars of Caribbeans that are living here, and so on. So the application of diversity when you produce mermaid mythology today, that is not moving away from how it originally was. In fact, it moves back to something that's really fundamental about this mythology. And you could even say perhaps that, you know, it's finding the roots of this mythology rather than continuing to deny, to, to deny it by continuing to subject this Nordic animist mythology to this ethno-nostalgic or even racist prestige. So uh, thank you very much to Disney and to uh, Hal Bailey for uh, taking a stance for Nordic mermaid mythology.